partition management, and FDisk. Say you've installed a new hard drive on the local server. How will you set it up? To this end, I'll go over a command line utility which can help you manage partitions. That's FDisk. I discuss one alternative, Parted, in a different video. In this video, I show you how to create a new partition with FDisk. Let's start by reviewing currently configured partitions with the sudo fdisk-l command. Note I have an active hard disk, SDA, and a new hard drive, dev slash sdb, which does not contain a valid partition table because it hasn't been set up yet. So let's do that and We'll open it up with the sudo fdisk dev sdb command. OK, let's see what we can do with fdisk before we do anything to this new hard drive. The m command reveals some of the available commands, such as a, which makes a partition bootable, l lists known partition types, n adds new partition, and as you can see from the screen, lots more. Now let's create a new partition. I do so. I start the process by running the n command. It asks me whether I want to create a primary or an extended partition. If an extended partition has been created, you'll see an L in this command action screen for a logical partition. If you have three primary partitions, four is the limit, you would create an extended partition with the remaining space and can then configure the extended partition, dividing it up into the logical partitions that you might need. OK, let's create a new partition of 500 megabytes. In this case, I press P to create a primary partition. I give it a number. Somewhere between 1 and 4 has prompted. If the number is not legitimate, FDisk tells me so. Let's make it the first primary partition. It prompts me to start at the beginning of the drive in terms of cylinders. In other words, the default start of the partition is the first cylinder. We want this at the beginning of the drive. And if I accepted the default, it would make the partition fill the entire hard drive. But I don't quite want to do that. I wanted a 500 megabyte partition, which I could specify with the plus 500M. Let's see how that works out. I press P to print the partition table. And there we go. We have a new partition, in this case dev slash sdb1, of 500 megabytes. Before I format it, let's check out a few more things about fdisk. If I want to set it up as a swap partition, I can check out the different file types available, or partition types available, pardon me. I list the codes, and as you can see, there's a whole variety of partition types FDisk can work with. You'll note that the existing partition is type 83, which is Linux. Common options are 82 for Linux swap, FD for Linux RAID. Note all the Microsoft FAT partitions in the left hand column. And yes, there's AD as well for Linux logical volumes. Note the ID column second from the right, 83. It's a Linux volume. OK, now let's write these changes. The partition table is being reread. And for completeness, 
I run the part probe command to make sure to reread the partition table. Okay, let's see what happens when I run the sudo f disk dash l command again. Look at that, I now have a configured partition on that new second drive. That's it for f disk. Now let's move to the next video.